Okay. <coughs> okay, so who here plays a sport? All right, and who has been labeled a jock before? Well, rec or years ago, people used to be called butch or jock if you played a sport. It was considered negative. But recently, sport has become a positive in people's lives. And um, some of those reasons are because it reduces stress, it um, provides networking opportunities, and it also do does a lot of health benefits. Majority of Americans hate their jobs. And these people need a stress reliever. They um, sit in a cubicle all day. They need a new, refreshing environment, and sports can provide that for them. Um, a person that I interviewed, Jason Wilkins, who's the bar manager at the Alchemist and Barrister in Princeton, New Jersey, he is a golf player, and he says that after a hard day's work in a bar all night, the next day it's great to go outside when it's nice out and play around the golf. It's just relaxing, different change of pace, and it can uh, truly help after a really hectic day. Um, in, the work in the workplace, sports also offer a fresh environment, and that's not the only thing that they can offer in that workforce. It also helps you meet new people. It gives you new opportunities that you wouldn't have met. Um, if you meet somebody on a team who can give you a little foot in the door in one of the jobs that you'd prefer, uh, that can definitely help you out. It also gives you a connector. Um, if you remember Venunzio, him and I were the only thing we had to talk about was soccer, but that gives us a little icebreaker so it can get me a foot in my door and help me out in that aspect. Also, deals on the golf course are made every single day with um, big deals. Companies, instead of going to a restaurant where they can sit down and talk with a waiter always bothering you, you can go out to the golf course where nobody's bothering you, it's quiet. All you have is this quiet environment and you can talk and relax. Also, I looked up an article by Santomeyer. He, it, the name of the article is uh, the sport stress connection and they stated that achievement in sport and improvement in performance through discipline and hard work are at the core of spar uh, sport ideology and the workforce basically has the exact same thing the uh, same ideolo ideology uh, through discipline and hard work the future employees look at the same exact things um, it do the sports don't always don't just offer physiological but also psychological help um, First, the doctor always says, are you getting an ex exercise? Um, a lot of people, it helps with overweight, helps with obesity, helps with heart disease, and all other diseases that you can contract. Um, yoga is a brand new sport, if that's what you want to call it, and it's extremely beneficial. One of the videos that I found on YouTube showed just how important it can be. And this guy, how old, maybe around 40, can anybody's father do this? <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's pretty, it's very stress, it takes away stress. He's completely calm in his mind and it's extremely beneficial, doctors say. So. I'll show one more. Uh, another article I looked up was a study done by Reed et al., and he showed that physical activity provides um, psychological and physiological benefits to cancer survivors, including lessening the cancer-related symptoms as well as their treatment side effects, and it improves their over overall quality of life. So in conclusion, we talked about how sports can provide benefits to help all aspects of your life, including and not only just healthcare problems, but also workforce, refreshing environments, and in networking with others. So, thank you.